Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another holiday event guide. This time we're going over the Christmas event, the Winter Veil. In this video we'll go over the Merrymaker Meta achievement, which awards you with the Merrymaker title and progress towards your Violet Protodrick. There are 11 achievements we need to get, and in this video I'll go over all of them in detail and set them up so you can complete them as efficiently as possible. This guide is from an Alliance perspective, but all of the achievements are basically the same for both sides, they're just mirrored off of each other. I'll have buttons on the right hand side of the screen that link to each of these achievements separately in case you just want specific ones. Make sure you have annotations enabled for that to work. Without any further ado, let's start off with the On Metzen achievement. Your Great Father Winter, who is located in Ironforge for Alliance and Orgrimmar for Horde, there will be a goblin that gives you a quest called You're a Mean One. This sends you to coordinates 4539 in Hillsbrad Foothills. Here you have to kill the abominable Grinch and save a reindeer named Metzen. Usually the Grinch will be dead by the time you get there, uh, just talk to Metzen to free him and grab a sack of stolen treats. Head back to Ironforge or Orgrimmar and turn in this quest to grab this achievement. You'll get a gift as a quest reward and it'll contain a Gracchu mincemeat fruitcake. Make sure you save this because we'll need it for later for another achievement. Next we have the Simply Abominable achievement. Directly after turning in the You're a Mean One quest, talk to the same NPC and accept the A Smoky Wood Pastures Thank You quest. Turn this into Great Father Winter who is directly nearby to grab this easy achievement. Also note that one day after turning in this quest, you'll get a Winter Veil Disguise Kit in the mail. We'll need this for the achievement titled The Frosty Shake. For this one, you have to use your Winter Veil Disguise Kit and turn into a snowman in Dalaran, then dance with another player who's done the same. To use your kit, you have to have a snowball. Uh, you can buy this on the auction house or just buy it from the same NPC that gave you the You're a Mean One quest. If you have trouble finding another snowman, check your group finder because sometimes people have groups up for this achievement. Next up, let's do the Scrooge achievement. From that same vendor, buy another snowball and head on over to the throne room at 4054 in Ironforge if you're Alliance, and throw a snowball at Murd and Bronzebeard to net this achievement. If you're Horde, you'll have to go all the way to Thunder Bluff and throw a snowball at Bane Bloodhoof, who's located at 6051. Next up, we have the Winter Veil Gourmet achievement. For this one, you have to have a cooking skill of 325 uh, from the same vendor that you bought the snowball from by the three following recipes. The gingerbread cookie recipe, the winter veil eggnog recipe, and the hot apple cider recipe. The ingredients are pretty basic. You need two small eggs, which you can just buy off the auction house, uh, some ice cold milk, which you can buy for most drink vendors in the game, You'll also need some holiday spices and holiday spirits. You just buy these from the same vendor that you bought the recipes from. And finally, you'll need some sparkling apple cider, which you can buy from the vendor right next to the snowball vendor. Make one each of these to grab the Winter Veil Gourmet achievement. Next up, we have the Tis the Season achievement. For this one, you have to have three pieces of winter clothing equipped while eating that Gracu's fruitcake you got earlier. There are three pieces to complete the set, uh, the boots, a chest, and a hat. You can buy both the winter boots and either a red or green winter clothes off the auction house, but you'll have to do some legwork to get the hat. Both the red and green winter hats drop off various dungeon bosses in the game. There are a lot of choices and I'll have a full list in the description, but as you can see here I went to the Blackrock Caverns, which is located in Blackrock Mountain in the Burning Steps. Uh, one of the bosses here, Coral of the Head of Twilight, drops the red winter hat. You can tell that a boss will drop a hat if he or she is wearing one, and you can grab a red or a green one. It doesn't matter if you mix and match, just as long as you have the three-piece set bonus, you're fine. The hats all have a 100% drop rate as long as the dungeon is set to heroic difficulty. Uh, once you pick one up, throw on all three set pieces and eat a Gracu's fruitcake for this achievement. Next we have the With a Little Helper from My Friends achievement. For this one, you gotta get 50 honorable kills while disguised as a little helper. Outside of most major cities, you'll find something called a Winter Wondervolt machine. Uh, here you can see one right outside of Ironforge. Step in it to transform into a gnome for 30 minutes. While you have this disguise on, hop in any battleground you want and start PvPing. I think the best one is the Isle of Conquest, since it's a 40 vs 40 map, so there's a lot of PvP going on. If you die, you lose the costume, so this might take a few battlegrounds to complete. You can also queue up for Ashran if you prefer that. Try your best to stay alive, make sure you travel with the big group of people so you don't die right away, and rack up 50 honorable kills while this disguise is active to earn this achievement. Next up we have the Falala over Ogrela achievement. 
For this one we have to visit the Blades Edge Mountains in Outland and complete a quest called Bomb Them Again while mounted on a flying reindeer. Before you head out, make sure you buy Preserved Holly on the Auction House because we're going to need it for this achievement. What this does is it transforms your mount into a reindeer. And we also have to do a little bit of questing. I won't go into too much detail in this video, but I'll have links to all these quests in the description if you get stuck on anything. Once you're in Blades Edge Mountains, head on over to coordinates 2957 and talk to the NPC Chu Alor and grab the quest called The Crystals. It's pretty self-explanatory. After you turn that one in, talk to the NPC right next to him, Torkus, and grab the Our Boy Wants to Be a Skyguard quest. After you turn that one in, talk to Chu Alor again and grab the Skyguard Outpost quest. Turn that one in and talk to Sky Sergeant Vanderlip and accept the Bombing Run quest where you have to bomb stacks of fell cannonballs. Finish that one and turn it in to finally unlock the Bomb Them Again daily quest. Here's where you want to use that Preserve Holly you bought earlier. Use it to transform your mount into a reindeer and then complete the Bomb Them Again daily quest to net the Falala over Ogrela achievement. Next we have the Bros Before Ho Ho Ho's achievement. For this one you have to use mistletoes on various people in Azeroth. You have a chance to get these mistletoes by doing the slash kiss emote to any winter reveler. These revelers are found in most inns in the game and you'll either get a mistletoe or a handful of snowflakes. If you're alliance you'll need 8 mistletoes and if you're horde you'll need 3. You can slash kiss them every hour, and as you can see here, uh, you get a 1 hour debuff every time you kiss them, which prevents you from just spamming it over and over. If you do end up getting the handful of snowflakes, make sure you save them because we'll need them for another achievement later. I'll have links to all of these NPCs in the description of this video, but for the Alliance, you need to use the mistletoe on brothers Joshua, Crowley, Cassius, Kristoff, and Benjamin in Stormwind, brother Wilhelm in Goldshire, brother Carmen in Theramore, and brother Nemetz in Stranglethorn Vale. For the Horde, you have to use it on brother Malik in the Undercity, brother Kelton in Icecrown, and Durkot Wolf brother in Warsong Hold in the Borean Tundra. Check out those links in the description for their exact coordinates. Next up we have the Let It Snow achievement. This is where we'll be using those handfuls of snowflakes you got from the Winter Revelers. You have to use them on certain race and class combinations of both your faction and the opposite faction. The Horde combinations are a Blood Elf Warlock, an Orc Death Knight, a Troll Hunter, a Torrent Shaman, and an Undead Rogue. The Alliance combinations are a Night Elf Druid, a Draenei Priest, a Human Warrior, a Gnome Mage, and a Dwarf Paladin. So what you want to do is you want to check out the most populated major city for your faction and for the opposite faction check out all of the neutral cities like Dalaran or Shatrath. Throw snowflakes in all 10 of those combinations to grab the Let It Snow achievement. And finally we have the He Knows If You've Been Naughty achievement. You may have noticed a bunch of presents under the tree near Great Father Winter earlier uh, but you weren't able to interact with them. That's because they haven't unlocked yet. These presents unlock on Christmas Day, which is December 25th. Uh, they're right under the tree, right next to Great Father Winter in Ironforge for Alliance and Orgrimmar for Horde. Grab one of them when the 25th rolls around to earn the He Knows If You've Been Naughty achievement. And that's it. With that, you should have the Merrymaker title meta achievement and a cool title to go along with it. I'll be doing guides for every holiday meta achievement, so make sure you check back if you need help with those. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like if you liked it, and if you really liked it, let me know in the comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching, have a Merry Christmas, and peace!